Good morning. RV Jim Michael has some stuff to say. So let me start with um, his energy and see what he wants to say. So this is the way he wants to say, you're on the right path. A favorable outcome. Keep your eyes on your targeted intention. And romance angels are helping you. Wow. <laughs> so that's what he wants to talk about today. Okay, why? Why are Romans angels helping you? Okay, so Lady Isis will tell you that. So, you have to believe in angels. If you don't, you don't. And you have to believe in romance. If you don't, you don't. So if you don't believe in romance and angels, then you're on your own. But if you do believe in romance and angels, and if you believe that um, they can be combined and they're helping you, this is why they're helping you, okay? So this is what Lady Isis wants to say. Goddess of 10,000 names. Lady of the stars. So she's the star in the tarot deck. Life restored. And the brother in darkness, overcoming negative energy with feminine power. So this is why romance angels are helping you. Because the brother is in darkness and the only way to overcome negative energy is with feminine power. Okay, that's what they're saying. <clears throat> So what happens when you know that Royal's angels are helping you and you also know that you're helping the divine masculine heal? What happens when you when you know the truth? All right, so this is what Lord Buddha wants to say. Number eight, pure action. Number 12, pure concentration. 
Number 17, Dharma. And number 36, Energy. So when you add three and six together, that's nine. So nine is the Hermit Virgo. So it says, you are never alone or helpless. The force that guides the stars guides you too. By Sri Sher Anandamurti. Energy is more than just cultivating physical boundless energy. It's making the connection with the universal life force that motivates all creations in the universe and in you. That's what the back looks like. Yeah, so when you get both, you have energy. You get energy. Okay. So what does the tarot deck have to say about that? Oh my God. You have death and judgment. Look at that. Scorpio. When you see death and judgment, you see Scorpio, number 13. And Scorpio is ruled by Mars and Pluto. And this is Scorpio energy, water sign. Wow. Yeah, so death is number 13 and judgment is number 20. Oh, wow. Okay. <clears throat> so, this is what you meant to hear this time. You're abundant. So, if you're the King of Pentacles, you'd be a Capricorn. And your match would be the Queen of Pentacles, a Taurus. <laughs> and you have another King here with the King of Cups. So, if you're the King of Cups, you're Cancer. And your match would be the Queen of Cups, the Scorpio. You're peaceful and you have the number seven here. So that's a lucky number and it's divine as well. You're going to collaborate with someone. And you know this person. This could be a soulmate with the Six of Cups. You're excited about something. And that's the truth with the Ace of Swords. You know that when the devil is reversed, that's the source of positivity. You're also enlightened with a hermit. Number nine, so that's a Virgo. Oh, wow. And you're also, I'm seeing three kings here. So you have king of pentacles, king of cups, and king of wands. And you also have the devil. 
but it's reversed. And you have, what? You have Virgo? So you have Capricorn, Cancer, Aries, Capricorn again, and Virgo. Okay, so you have Capricorn, King of Pentacles, Cancer, King of Cups, Aries, King of Wands, Capricorn, the Devil reversed, and the Hermit, Virgo, number nine. So you do have a new opportunity here with the Ace of Pentacles. So when you have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, you have truth and opportunity here. You're gonna have to start over. So focus on the positive and cut off into the negative with the full, this Aquarius. You're honest. Oh, you look at that. You have a uh, warning here. You have seven of wands reversed and seven of swords reversed. So 77. So that is a lucky number. That's divine with 77. And that's a warning. You've manifested this. All of this. And you're seen as the magician, number one. So the magician is ruled by Mercury. The, so that's Virgo and Gemini. And um, yeah, Virgo, Virgo showed up in this reading. And this is what the intuitions want to say. You have clarity. Your wish will be, will be granted. And you know what makes you happy? So you have clarity. Your wishes will be granted. And you know what makes you happy? So you have, yeah, Leo here. Well, this is part, that's Leo. Let me go ahead and um, deal with this negative energy. Because I'm seeing it. So that negative energy has been blocked and reversed, okay? So you are in the seven of wands energy. You will get more challenges, more conflict, more drama, more chaos. And you are fake. You lie, you cheat, you deceive, you're fake. All of that with the seven of swords. And that will be done to you. And you're owned by the devil. That's your destiny. That's your fate. That's what you are. And that's who you are. And this is what the intuition is going to say. You do negative to be happy. Yeah, with the sun reversed. You will not get your wishes fulfilled. You're too negative for that. So that's nine of cups reversed. And you have no clarity with the two of swords. All right. Let me just remind you who you really are. Okay. 
Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords, The Devil, Two of Swords, Nine of Cups reversed, and the Sun reversed. Yep. So that is you. That's who you are. You're fake. You can get more challenges. You have no clarity. Your wishes will not be granted. You're too negative to be happy. And you're fake. All of this just means that you're owned by the devil. Yep, that's you. That's who you are. That's what you are. You're exposed. Everyone knows who you are. Everybody knows what you are and what you're trying to do. And when you're done with this hell, because that's what you're going to get. Hell. You get what you give. You gave hell, so you get hell. And when you kill yourself, because you can't take it anymore, or when you get killed, whatever comes first, when you're dead, your soul will be destroyed. That's your fate. That's your destiny. Having said that, I hope I helped you in some way, and I'll talk to you again soon.